I did um, a YouTube video a couple of years back on uh, what I call Bob's Blobs um, and I did this as a way of relaxing. If you get yourself into a situation where you want to paint but you don't know what to paint and you want to just practice freeing up your style perhaps um, or it's just having a, an afternoon of, uh, of fun then Bob's Blobs are a good way to do this. Now uh, Bob's Blobs um, I think comes from Robert Wade, Australian artist um, and it's a way of painting people um, loosely in groups and so forth um, and he just starts by laying down a whole load of nice juicy rough colours So no, there's no rhyme or reason to these colours, just any colours you want. Nice and wet, just let them run together. And then Having done that, he just stroked in some verticals down below. Again, changing colour, changing. form the legs of the crowd and then little blobs above and all of a sudden this becomes crowd of people and then if we put a little bit of a shadow at the bottom like so we end up with a crowd a very loose crowd of, of people now the thing to note in this sort of painting is that when you want to put other people in, which are perhaps closer to the eye, the tops of their heads, the tops of all the people, uh, we usually put them in so that they are all in the same line. So if, you want, if you're going to have put in a person who is closer to the eye, they're going to be taller, bigger, than these ones that we've already started. And therefore, if we start at the top of their head, So, give this lady a nice red top. Whilst the top of the head is the same level as the ones further away. Got an arm there, which is a little bit too long, so I'll give that a 
bag to carry and then put on my shadow you can see that whilst the heads are all on the same line the body has come down uh, putting her more into the uh, into the foreground it's very simple it's very relaxed it's you're not going for accuracy you're just um, playing around with colors playing around with shapes more than anything else um, and so this exercise I'm going to show you um, in, a, in a minute is going to be about that using Bob's plops using no pencil drawing whatsoever but actually drawing with the paintbrush and going straight in with nice uh, nice juicy colors so I'm going to do uh, another fairground um, or fate type um, scene and for that I've just done a quick search on the internet um, and also some, used some of my own photographs of various simple fates with stalls and people walking around and milling around talking to each other and so forth uh, and I'm using some of these shapes, some of the um, uh, marquees and so forth uh, for inspiration um, and also, because uh, I, I want to put a couple of dogs in, I've got some photographs uh, off the internet for uh, doggy type shapes. And I think in the background I might even have a village church, so I've got some uh, photographs of churches there. Just to give me some idea over shapes as I, um, as I uh, do this painting. Now, um, so I'm going to start off with a sort of a middle crowd scene, and I'm not making really any great decision. Um, as to exactly where I'm going to place people. Um, I'm going to start with a sort of a middle to far distance crowd scene, so let's uh, just put a couple of shapes in there. Let these run, colours run together. And I'm sort of taking colours at a random, I'm not uh, Letting them run together, as I say. Um, it's always when you've got people in the background. It's always a good idea to have them running together, rather than having them as gaps. Do so. We'll put some legs on those. I'll use burnt umber for that. Just legs all don't have to come down. If um, you have one leg up and one leg down, it shows that they're actually moving, that they're walking or whatever. Get them down to roughly the same sort of height. And then again using the burnt umber, just put a few heads on that. So there's a couple of people, a couple of women talking with each other. Um, some looking away, some looking towards you, towards the looker. There we go. So there's a crowd of people. Um, I'm going to have um, somebody over here perhaps who is walking to the right. And carrying Perhaps a bag of some sort.
Let's use a little bit of nipples yellow there for the, the face. Um, and as I say, we'll have them carrying a bag, maybe, maybe a couple of bags. Then we'll have someone over here just do their head at the same time. So the whole idea is basically just to, yeah, that's okay. work freehand, um, no drawing, keep it nice and simple. Let's put a beard on. And then I'm going to leave gaps here and there for some detail work later on. You can change, you know, what it, I'm using burnt umber for the hair. You don't have to use that. You can use all sorts of different colours. Um, And it's a good idea to collect photographs, maybe from the internet, of, um, of people, shapes. Um, and so all I'm doing here at the moment is I'm practicing those shapes. Just building up a picture. And you can see it sort of becomes sort of almost slightly cartoon. Lovely to let the, the, um, the colours flow into each other like that. So what I'm going to do now is just um, add one or two little sort of um, details. So I'm going to have um, I have my light coming from the uh, uh, the left hand side and I'm just going to freehand paint maybe one of these tall marquee type shapes Nice and free and easy. No need to be too worried about uh, getting it exactly right. Working wet into wet, as you can see, which is basically my my favourite way of, of doing it. Of somebody a stall holder or two just there there It's all about simple shapes.
then we need the table which has a cloth on it extend these legs down a little bit And all of a sudden, we have a very, very simple stall. Um, we'll have another one very close to it, just behind it. people there too, just having a look And over here we'll have more of a marquee type tent. So you can see the picture beginning to, uh, to build up now. So I've done a little bit more. I put in very, very light um, uh, grassy green area um, using yellow ochre and a bit of uh, green. I put a little dog in here, not very well. Um, I'll tidy him up in a minute. Um, and one or two other uh, people. Uh, somebody was a little child with some balloons, a few more um, of these marquees. Um, I'm going to put in now um, a sort of a church shape because this is a sort of village green type thing um, in the background. So I'm going to have that slightly, I'm going to have a church tower slightly off centre. Um, so we'll start it over here. And you note that I stop the colour, um, try and get it into proportion, um, before it gets right the way down. You don't have to fill in all the gaps. And leaving it sort of slightly white between whatever I'm putting in now and um, down here, it tends to emphasise the shapes below. Um, so. I'm just drawing with the paintbrush. Yeah. I said that, I think I said that the yeah, light was coming from the um, left hand side so darken up this side of things slightly so this is a typical church tower using burnt umber just a little touch of paint grey perhaps just to make it duller
very much working wet into wet. So uh, a little bit of so in, the, in the background, we'll just put a little bit of loose detail on. I don't want this to come too far forward. I'll let that dry a little bit, I think, first before I go much further. Um, and then I'll put a little more detail in and we'll have the... Have the roof coming back here. So I've put in a very, very simple tree there, left hand side. Just putting in a couple of more distant trees Oops. in the uh, in the middle distance just and by knocking that up a little bit that helps me to define the shape of the top of the marquee there I think we might have Another tree over here. So very much as you can see, drawing with a paintbrush. You can use your own choice of colours. It's quite an interesting thing to do this sort of painting. Um, either just in one colour as a, and to do it as a tonal sketch. Um, or to limit the palette. Now, I'm going to go back now. I think that uh, church is a little bit drier, so just go back in and put in a little bit of detail there.
So as you see, very much drawing with a paintbrush. And we'll have a flag flying from the Now, um, I want to rebalance the painting. Um, some things need to become forward. Um, so just darken up my two little areas here, perhaps. Put a little bit more detail work in. Very often I find that the stage just flicking in marks with no discernible pattern to them. Um, just to bring certain items a little bit further forward perhaps. Um, I might make that tree a little bit yeah, that tree will come a little bit further forward. That's fine. It's okay. Keep that one over there in the background. So now I'm just going to put in some shadow shape on the ground. And for that I usually use a burnt umber and uh, something like violet. Light's coming from the left hand side so the shadows on the ground go to the right. finish off what I might do is put in just a little bit of sky so I'm just going to wet the sky up here a little bit and I don't want anything too complicated a little bit of cobalt blue just to drop it in there some vaguely cloud type shapes. This is a nice English summer afternoon when the rain has passed. Just put a little bit of that same blue to the ground as well, just to balance it up. And there we have it. I think um, it's just a very, very simple um, uh, painted sketch, uh, very loosely done. Um, it gives the message of a nice, uh, enjoyable, sunny afternoon at the faint, faint. Um, and uh, it just helps you to loosen up your painting um, and um, enjoy yourself with your art. So I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, and as always, good luck with your own art. Thank you.